All right, yeah, this is not going to be a playthrough. I will do one. I was really happy that um, Camp Sawyer was like, oh, actually, I'm enjoying this. So I was like, okay, cool, because I do want to do a playthrough, and it's helpful for me to talk it out, articulate it, even like I do that even if I'm not filming kind of thing. You know what I mean? So that way I can help help myself uh, figure out what the hell is going on. Like I said, it's going to be a ramble. I'm not going to do a playthrough right off the bat. Um, I will do one, like I said. I'll put my glasses back on. But uh, let's get into Ramble Land because I'm in holiday time right now. and it's uh, Or vacation or whatever you want to call it. And it's been nice. I just due to the fact I don't have to deal with a huge chunk of time is, you know, uh, not about that anymore. And I can... Um, just focus on the live stream, gaming, uh, thinking things ahead, um, starting to actually do stuff like um, incorporating video with um, uh, narrative and all that type. Uh, I mean, that, like, you know, still images and so on and so forth. So I can have a map beside, you know, things um, when I'm talking about whatever. All right, so that's that. Like I said, it's going to be a bit of a ramble. One thing I'm going to say before, I think I've mentioned it to some people, is I absolutely adore paper. Uh, uh, yeah, I can, uh, maybe I'm an eco whatever from hell, but uh, I just love the, I love the feel of it. I love everything about this. Um, I'll just, uh, yeah, I just do. Anyways, I found my favorite paper for quite some time now. It's from Desktop Publishing Supplies or something. I can't get it directly uh, to Canada. They will not ship to the United States, so I have to go through Amazon. I'm So this is an A4 cream paper. It's 60 pounds, 60-pound uh, bond paper. And you can see, so this will be my fourth iteration for using this. Um, here, I'll put it down here. It doesn't really matter. I don't think I'm going to move anything. But uh, this will be my fourth iteration. In other words, I'm not printing, you know, I used to print every week the leaderboard and then start marking off uh, when people get points. And this paper, even if, you know, it's only 60 pound bonds, not like super hardcore. Um, it's really flipping nice. I really enjoy this. It's just such a smooth, uh, nice on my eyeballs. It feels good. It feels like hardcover uh, paper, uh, essentially. Not as good as the hardcover paper that they use for um, On a Knife Edge by uh, Holger Afflerbach, but it's super duper nice. I love it. Uh, what else? Yeah, like I said, I'm just going to go off into Wanderland, Ramble Land. Um, yeah, I did my CRT. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, I'll probably play a little tiny bit and show you the basic strategies, because I've been biting at the bit to do that anyways. Um, things are going to not work, for sure, right off the bat. If they did, there's something wrong, as far as I'm concerned. But, uh, like, I already think, like, ten turns is too much. I've got way too, probably way, way too many step, step losses for whatever it's going on. But I'll just see how it's going on. So I rolled for who sets up first, and then I also rolled up, uh, rolled for who goes first. I do need to put some, uh, pop some people back. Um, now, if you remember, um, or you don't, I don't know. I'll talk things out. Like I said, is that um, for the setup, uh, each side has to either have has to have all their non-cavalry units on or adjacent to a city hex uh, square. <laughs> Oh my God, it's going to be so hard to get around that. And uh, the cavalry can be two away. And uh, there's one elite. So that's what I mean by lots of step losses. So that's a 12, 8, 4, 2, and then you're gone. You can still get eliminated based on, on a CRT result. So, you know, it's not like a given here. Uh, and then there's three regular uh, infantry troops, uh, eight, four, two, you're gone. And then two reserves, uh, four, two, you're gone. And then an artillery with only a defensive value of one. Uh, but they supply a plus two for one attack uh, if they did not move that turn to an adjacent infantry unit. Uh, and the HQ can, if they don't move, right off the bat they can replenish um, 
um, a step law, like, uh, you know, uh, convert a step up, I guess, um, step gain, uh, to a infantry unit that is within a um, valid logistics line, which is four movement points, and like I said, did not go through prohibitive terrain, it's basically essentially just the lake, or uh, through an uncontested um, enemy threat zone. What else? Uh, the cavalry can move three, uh, infantry move two, the headquarters and artillery move one. It's going to be tricky. I've only played uh, a few turns, like six turns or whatever of, a, of one game. I've switched it up a little bit. I'm trying to figure out strategies now and see if this, uh, like, a, for sure, I'm, there's going to be monster amount of tweaking. Absolutely. Oh, uh, what else can I say? Yeah, I've incorporated, I reminded myself about the swamp. Thank God for the last video. So it's essentially movement value of three to get across. So it's, you know, anybody, it's gonna, just going to be, you slink across uh, one uh, one space or one square. And their defensive defensive value is minus two die roll modifier, just like the uh, the woods. I think that's okay. I think the cities are pretty insane. That's why I've got, um, I should have had a, should have put the, no, no, I've got the two eights. And I'm, I'm going to essentially abandoning, um, uh, the blue side had to set up first and uh, coincidentally also are going to go first. So what we're going to try to do, there's only 10 turns. I don't know if it's going to work. Like I said, I'm just going through the whole bloody thing here. When I realized that if uh, units that are in a city for their defensive value when somebody's trying to attack them uh, there's going to be a column shift to the left automatically so if you go into into a four to one it's now down to a three to one and you get a minus two to your die roll for the attacker i was like okay this guy's got lots of step losses he's got an eight down he's down to a four two. i understand if you put enough in there's a good chance there's going to be uh, an elimination i'm just looking to say Okay, you know what, you may, the green, you may need to have to actually spend enough energy to try to do what you want to do. Because the, I've, oh yeah, that was another thing I've uh, changed, the uh, the victory conditions. The victory conditions is at the end of the game, who's ever got the more cities on the other side, you win. So that's why the blue has decided to try to do this in a sense. Try to keep these two cities. Mm. And odds are the green are not going to be able to get that one as well and try to uh, concentrate on getting these guys, even though they're very far away. I'm just saying it's just bizarre. Totally, well, not totally random, because like I said, I loosely based it off of that. Um, uh, the World Undone East Prussia. Uh, the World Undone 1914 East Prussia from uh, Conflict Simulations Limited, uh, the first battle of the Masurian Lakes. It's a cool looking map for me anyways, because I'm like, the, the green side has like a kind of a juicy, you know, an easy, but they're far away and like both people have rivers and um, with the rivers, remember, uh, movement, you stop and it's, um, everything's cumulative. So it's minus two if everybody's across. I don't want to get, uh, you know, off into one another. Let's just try it. So that's the, so that's what the uh, blue army is going to try to do. They're going to try to concentrate and see if they can do something here. They're using the cavalry as a stopgap to maybe uh, slow down any, because you, as soon as you hit an enemy threat zone, you have to stop. You can always move one hex to one hex kind of thing. Look, I'm going to learn as I go along. I'm sure I'm going to be like, hmm. Like I said, I popped in uh, in one of the comments. I'm going to be doing a lot of head scratching. Uh, the green side, I was kind of like, uh, well, I can see what they're kind of doing, uh, but I'm going to see if I can kind of, I didn't, uh, the previous setup I had almost like a continuous front. We'll see how we go here. I still like having the cavalry down here and try to use some of the, um, um, the defensible terrain, and there we go. So the blue side is going to go first. I may use uh, forceps just due to the fact Oh my God! The thing that sucks is the uh, the movement of one for the headquarters and artillery, and they can't do anything that turn if they do. So this is going to be like, uh, and I just like I said, I just don't know what ten turns. So maybe I'll just do one turn, and we'll see how that goes. 
All right, so, and remember, if the cavalry don't move in the first movement phase, they're allowed to um, use any reserve movement. So if I don't move them at all now, I can uh, uh, go for three movement uh, points. Well, like I said, this guy's staying here. I'm staying here there because this is a more of a reactionary unit, uh, if anything. Um, and we just advance as much as we bloody can. That's as simple as that. Um, I don't see any other point in what I'm doing. So there we go. Movement of two. Movement of one. I can't do anything. I'm not expecting to do anything anyways. What the? Oh yeah, he stays there. And... Yep. Like I said, I'm not expecting to be doing anything right now. What, what the hell is going to happen here? Um, nope. Can't get to me. So no worries, no worries. And there we go. We're off we go. We're off to the races. And I'm abandoning this position. I mean, why would I keep somebody there? There's no, you know, there's no possibility. I don't like the retreat thing though. No, we're still early, early days. So that's it for the blue. No, I could still do a secondary thing, but I'm not going to because due to the fact I'm um, using that cavalry as a reactionary unit right now because I don't know what the hell the green uh, team's going to do. So now we go off to green, the green team, and I'm going to... Hmm. I like having the marsh there, I can, uh, I'll be honest with you. Hmm. But uh, we're going to certainly use the river bonus. That's for bloody sure, I can tell you that much. So I'm going to move you up to here. And you to there. And... Yep, I think it's a good idea. I can kind of like... Yep, so that's one, two. All right. Uh, shit. What? Well, it's too late. I let her, let her go. I should have actually moved the cavalry over to here and move this guy into the swamp. F! Oh well, that's the way the world works. Oh, I love it. Okay, and uh, don't jump too far ahead of your artillery and headquarters, Chris. Just chill. Which means I've got to slink along, lumber along, even though I don't want to. It sucks. And... Yeah, I, uh, why why not? There's no... Mm, I'll leave you there. Just maybe I can use you as a proper reserve and, and flush you in. But it's pretty bloody obvious the blue team is not not going this way. Unless something... Uh, yeah, keep them there because the cavalry can always do something funky. Um, that's it. I just wanted to kind of show a super quickie whatever. Um... Got to be careful. Like all of a sudden, things can maybe get out of hand. Oh shoot! That's the end of that one. So yeah, I was doing that last game. I was forgetting to uh, move the turn sequence. I haven't figured out any of this uh, stuff yet. Like I said, it was a template kind of a thing. That's it. I'm off to turn two. Um, I mean, well, I haven't done any combat. That that happened pretty darn quick. Maybe. Oh my God, the battery. So I'm glad I stopped. Anyways, I'm glad. Um, some of you guys are enjoying this. All right, hope you're having fun. See ya.